Hello, good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the uh, morning session, the 4th of July 2017. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Alternatively, visit Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com or download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so where do we stand? Uh, European markets this morning subdued to a large extent, although uh, they have recovered. Asian markets certainly down overnight with the Nikkei negative, the Hang Seng and the Shanghai negative on the back of the uh, North Koreans firing an intercontinental ballistic missile and then subsequently claiming that they can launch that potential rocket anywhere they like. And that certainly is risk negative, okay? We had US markets certainly under pressure yesterday with the NASDAQ falling below 5,600, certainly uh, subdued to a large extent and therefore obviously uh, contributing to the negative uh, gap down on the FTSE 100 and European indices. In terms of economic data this morning, unemployment numbers from Spain came in slightly better than expected. Okay, uh, UK construction data certainly coming in weaker as well. Same sort of theme from this week uh, with the US data, well UK data yesterday coming in on the or UK PMI coming in on the weaker side and therefore that's hurting the uh, GBP USD to a large extent. The weakness in the euro curve continues, especially with yesterday's comments from the ECB or potential anonymous source indicating that uh, they are going to uh, ease off the uh, the QE uh, bandwagon. So again, certainly uh, or reduce the tapering uh, tapering talk. OK, so again, that certainly is helping. Now, we do have Mr. ECB Priyat speaking. We have had uh, European um, PPI data, inflation data really coming in weaker than expected this morning on a month-on-month -month basis from Europe. So again, that's risk negative for, or certainly negative for the euro to a large extent. We have had, uh, we will certainly have Mr. Priyat speaking in the next two and a half hours, so keep an eye on that. We have the UK, or you should say the Kiwi Dairy Auction as well, keep an eye on that. We have Canadian Manufacturing PMI, and then we have Mr. Nowotny speaking, and then we have API crude data in the evening. So the US is on holiday, bear that in mind. Okay, keep that in mind, the US is certainly on holiday, and that certainly will uh, factor into the equation in terms of European indices as well. Okay, let's look at the actual technical picture now. German DAX first and foremost, okay. Daily chart really is trading sideways, okay, no real thrust high even on the back of that ECB news story of it potentially uh, uh, pairing or certainly pulling back on its taper uh, uh, talk, okay, so again, uh, we're certainly in, um, certainly trading sideways in the German DAX, no real sense of direction. We did actually move higher and close the gap and ever since we've certainly stalled, so again, your resistance remains at uh, 12,880 and 12,890, so Keep an eye on that, okay, in terms of the German DAX. Okay, uh, in terms of the French CAC, let's look at the French CAC now. Again, we're pushing up to gap fill. Again, North Korean concern certainly is weighing, and therefore will keep the uh, European indices uh, certainly subjugate to a large extent. So certainly approaching gap fill now, 519, 55, 200, and certainly will be capped there on the 10-minute uh, chart on the French CAC, 60-minute chart. You certainly are into that diagonal trend line resistance that was held yesterday. You do have an unfilled gap below, so just be made aware of that. Okay. Although the weaker inflation data and the ECB story certainly is looking to ex help European indices. Okay. In terms of the FTSE 100, let's just bring this up for you. Okay. So we've bounced off that key support at 7337, 7334. Uh, we're hitting resistance now at 7370, the 200MA. So looking to uh, pause here. So again, watch out in terms of the next move. Now you do have horizontal resistance at 7377 and you have resistance at 7380 as well. So watch out for those two uh, resistance zones on the FTSE 100, okay? In terms of the uh, Euro stocks, last but not least. Okay, so we're still approaching gap fill. We still have we've still failed to close the gap. Okay, still failing to close the gap. So watch out for gap fill above. A 60 minute chart again the key resistance will be at 3500 let's see if we can uh, get there in the daily chart obviously we've been bouncing off the uh, gap fill below so interesting interesting scenario at present let's see how the uh, the market unfolds okay so uh, in terms of economic data really i think the only thing that we need to react now in terms of europe is ecb priat speech ecb nowatny speech and that really will be the market movers and the rest will be based on technicals on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and uh, visit Trade Signal for the latest app. Goodbye now.